This illusion is called grow, don't change. I really filtered, or rather, I filtered through a stream of consciousness writing blurbs adjacent to the concept sketch to divulge the title. The catalyst word or theme of the stream was change in time. Time is a reoccurring theme for me, just in the day to day, though. Just in my art, too, so. This concept sketch was originally a figure standing or sort of like strutting, but I didn't. I didn't like it. It didn't really fit with the upper body, but I really wanted to convey, at least, until I altered it to what you see now as you watch. I love the enigma of it, as well as the movement. The vertical standing legs the figure originally had really gave coquette, 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 good lord, I'm sorry. (laughs) These legs are much more fitting, making the body appear distorted, but not so out of proportion The figure is mangled and lost in the onlooker. Both hands seek to shroud the face as the body reads in agony, or perhaps horror, at what it's going through. It is reluctant to see where it's going or where it's been. The torso, like the palms, both are riddled with holes, as the chest cavity or the eye of the body is aglow with anticipation, perhaps anxiety, as it's carried forward by the uppermost leg, almost dragging the other leg behind it like a snake slithers. Looking closer, the foot on the forward leg is twisted, emphasizing the jaunty spiral-like movement of the figure as a whole. The legs seem to wrap almost completely around the body in a circle. It circles upon circles and holes upon holes, so it's fragile, yet willfully and intently moving forward on its path. That was a little breakdown. To think I used to only paint heads for the most part, and I used to justify that in thinking I felt at those times I was only my brain or my head. In part to when I had taken chakra quizzes, I love a good quiz, and those quizzes (laughs) always said I had a disproportionately active crown chakra. Overactive. While my throat chakra was closed or blocked and farther down there was just neglected. I wasn't grounded or really in touch with myself because I, and I still do, live in my head. It's where I thrive, so to see me now rendering full bodies is a bit astounding because I really haven't changed, only grown. And that's the meaning behind this painting. In my sketchbook beside the sketch that made this painting, within the stream of writing, I rediscovered an old sentiment of mine, embrace the strange, and that's just beneath grow into yourself, don't change. So I had written grow, don't change just above that. And the title was the capstone of it all. To better my YouTube suggestions, I sought out things I'm actually interested in rather than browsing lackadaisically. So I've gotten good YouTube recommendations lately that have actually provided food for thought. One video was How Money Ruined Art. Very good. On the other hand, from some videos I perused, I think religion really fueled art up to a point. And that point probably, at least I think, was surrealism. Then artists turned to dreams, maybe because they needed a break from the world around them. At least that's what the surrealist artists' personal lives the most notable ones that I'm aware of, that's what their personal lives would suggest. A video from that same channel reviewed Salvador Dali's book and noted Salvador Dali didn't just paint realism, he was a surreal person, as his style is perceivable in all facets of his life, how he spoke, wrote, and presented himself to the public. Since I also watched this video about dandyism inspired by Audrey Beardsley, I can't help but wonder, had Salvador Dali been born in London, or like England, rather than his beloved Spain, would he be deemed a dandy? A painter who really stood out to me for being atypical, and um, he stood out to me not just because of his contrasting light and dark, Karasakuro, as Genevieve Kaufman wrote about in the secret library during the art heist. I really love that. It was an unforgettable scene.
amazing writing. I loved it. Otherworldly, magnetic. Um, Caravaggio, I believe that's how you say his name. I hope I don't say it wrong a bunch. I bought a book about him and have only read so far about the uncertainty of his name, causing the author to acquiesce, I think out of respect, to like his identity and refer to him only as M because that's the only thing that was certain about his first name. There were a bunch of different variations. I think they believe his name was originally Michelangelo, but there are a lot of other Marisi. There was there were a plethora of M names that he is believed to have been known by. Whether these were aliases or not, they have not really they have not really pinpointed exactly what his name was, who everyone knew him as, except for the town that he often dwelled in. Anyway, he seemed at odds with religion due to the way he lived his early life. In a Seven Circles video, he was described, I think, as an orphan, and he fought a constable in his youth and later killed a man, which in another video really emphasized as well. It seemed to have earned him the title of a miscreant who brandished a sword and was also, like, maybe very temperamental. And under one video, maybe the Seven Circles video, a person commented, M, as the author of the book I have referred to him, probably would have liked hip-hop. I hate commenters sometimes, but I never comment, so who am I to judge? But that, along with these video makers, paint him. Yeah, I was bothered. <laughs> they really paint him in, like, a very negative light. I'm a chaotic neutral, mind you, as I go on. Stay with me. But murder, killing, it requires a context, doesn't it? If you are in war and you kill for your country, you're a hero. If you're threatened, you kill in supposed self-defense. You are within your right, and the crime is justified. You kill without cause, then you are a cold-blooded killer, and you are incredibly condemned, like, to be condemned, yes. In the instance of M, the story was a prostitute who modeled for him, which his patrons didn't care for, since he was often depicting holy scenes. This woman was being accosted by some man in his presence. Sex workers, as I said before, aren't seen as people. I can only imagine the way they treated those women in history or days of yore. So if this woman, his friend, they spent time together, you know, doing hours of posing for paintings, why wouldn't he defend her? Maybe he didn't mean for it to escalate to murder. And in his later works, it seems to have really haunted him. So I think that maybe this heinous crime actually reflected the goodness of his character as a friend to defend a disenfranchised person, a woman in a time when the patriarch was really at its peak. And if you were only seen as an object, yeah, I'm imagining that you could really get roughed up in the street. Or worse, <laughs> it, didn't, it did get him in trouble with the law, but in that time, with his history, with that constable, would the trial have been fair? And you don't know what that constable that he fought with was like. He could have been a corrupt jerk to people. And the aforementioned remark in the comments about M possibly liking hip-hop made me think of Tupac's trial from the case where he shot a cop. The verdict ended in his favor. Maybe Caravaggio was in the right. Who knows? We weren't there. And it's just, it just really irks me because it's a terrible way to be remembered. Most videos really hark on his criminality. He had a quote, without fear, without hope. And I love it. I really want to get it tattooed. Clearly, he said in Italian because he's Italian. Ugh. It just irks me so much because, like, even in history, it seems like society benefited more from making people dislike themselves. For him and others, even now, it's the religion. But now there's, like, oh, there's a plethora of more things besides religion to make you dislike yourself. Beauty standard and social class. Not to sound like a toxic positivity person, but it reminds me to really, like, love or appreciate things about yourself goes against the grain so if you take anything away from this video it is art truly art and art goes on so i will in my next video